Hi, I'm Ajay Pal and welcome to Ask a Developer. Today's question comes to us from Star who asks, what is a good developer designer workflow? This is a question that we get asked a lot. It is highly critical for developers and designers to work together during the application development process. This ensures fleshing out of concerns from both the developers and designers, which enables the team to deliver the application successfully. Now let's break this question down into two parts. First, what is a good developer designer workflow during prototyping? And second, what is a good developer designer workflow during production? Prototyping is a critical piece of the, of the development process. In this phase, stakeholders typically seek the definition of, a, of an interaction model, as well as establishment of a visual design language. Designers can see this by creating new animations, transitions, and defining interaction paradigms. Developers can consume this output and help to feasibility analysis, as well as development estimates for these features. The quality assurance team can also work with designers and engineers and help define the testing strategy uh, during this process. Developers can code screens very quickly on the target device, which can be used to, to showcase to the designers and other stakeholders the product direction, the visual design direction, and the interaction model. This deliverable is often used to de demonstrate the application design and interaction model to the executive team for buy-in on the application. Now let's look at the second part. What is a good developer designer workflow for production? The collaboration between designers and developers does not end when the production phase starts. During this phase, designers and developers interact very closely with the customer to get their feedback and understand the, any possible changing priorities from the customer's point of view. This the feedback received from the customer it needs to be incorporated during the application development process. Engineers can also work with designers to ensure that the architecture of the application is going to be able to handle the interaction model being defined. Quality assurance engineers also work very closely with designers and developers to ensure completeness of the features as they are being developed. No feature should be considered complete unless it has been validated by the designers and engineers for compliance to the design as well as from a functional perspective. In addition, Engineers also collaborate with production artists who deliver visual assets conforming to the platform guidelines and the design language. This collaboration continues throughout the application development process. Our next question comes from the folks at Design Avenue who want to know, is it possible to open an application by tapping a link inside of another application on an Android device? The ability for the Android platform to open an application when another link is tapped in another application has existed for quite some time. This is handled via the intent system on Android. When a link is tapped in an application, an intent gets created, which gets sent to the Android intent system. The Android intent system then searches for a list of applications that have registered themselves as being able to handle an intent of that type. Once the intent system finds an app, a suitable application or a list of suitable application, it prompts the user with the list of available applications that are capable of handling that intent. The user can then make a selection and the application gets launched by the intent system. This topic is a good segue into the topic of deep linking. With deep linking support, search results that appear in, in a Chrome browser on Android are now capable to be linked with a, na a native application. Imagine that you are searching for a movie to watch using your Chrome browser on an Android device. Instead of tapping on the link that appears in the search results, you could tap on the link that would launch a native application, in this case, say Fandango. The application would take you directly to the page where you could buy a movie ticket for the next appropriate showtime. Google is launching this feature slowly in collaboration with other application developers. It may take some time for this feature to roll out across a large number of applications. However, you should take the effort and start investigating this feature to incorporate this in your application to deliver a richer user experience for your target audience. And that's it for this edition of Ask a Developer. If you have any questions, please tweet them with the hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.